Hi everyone, this is Nancy. Today is March 13th. How are you doing? The Buddha transformed many, many people in his life. And Uruvira Kashyapa was one of the earliest and important ones. After Uruvira Kashyapa took refuge in the Buddha, his 500 followers, his two brothers, and followers of his two brothers also became the Buddha's disciples. Uruvira Kashyapa, together with his two brothers and their followers, were fire worshippers. They believed that by worshipping fire, one could be liberated. They believed that fire was the essence of the universe, and through fire, one could reunite with Brahma after death. The Buddha stayed with Uruvira Kashyapa for some time and showed him the right way. He explained the law of dependent co-arising to Kashyapa. He also explained that there wasn't a separate, permanent self in everything. Everything was connected. All were contained in one, and one contained all. He also told Kashyapa that through meditation, he discovered that one person was made of the five aggregates. The body, the feelings, the perceptions, the mind formations, and consciousnesses. The five aggregates were like five continuously flowing rivers in which there wasn't a permanent element. One afternoon, the Buddha and Kashyapa stood by the Nirvanjara River. Kashyapa said to the Buddha, Gautama, I have been meditating on the five aggregates. I have begun to understand that one's feelings and perceptions determine the quality of one's life. And I also say that there isn't a permanent self in these five rivers. But I still don't understand. If there isn't a self, then who is there to be liberated? The Buddha asked Kashyapa, Kashyapa, do you accept that suffering is a truth? Kashyapa said, Yes, I accept that suffering is a truth. The Buddha asked Kashyapa, Kashyapa, do you accept that suffering has cause? Kashyapa said, Yes, I accept that suffering has cause. The Buddha said, When the cause of suffering is present, suffering is present. When the cause of suffering is not present, it's removed, then suffering is removed. Kashyapa said, Yes, I see that. The Buddha then said, The cause of suffering is ignorance, a false way of looking at reality. Thinking the impermanent permanent, this is ignorance. Thinking there is a self when there is not, this is ignorance. The path of liberation is the path to look deeply at things, to truly realize the nature of impermanence, the absence of a self, and the interdependence of all things. The path is the path which overcomes ignorance. Once the ignorance is overcome, then suffering is transcended. This is true liberation. There isn't a need for a self to be there, to be liberated. We may also think in another way. The whole universe is like a whole body, and each session being is like a cell of the whole body. Everything is connected. Everything is energy. Everything is a manifestation of the mind. All the fears, greed, hatred, jealousy born from ignorance, form ego are negative energy and affect the whole universe. Liberation is the liberation of the mind. It's also changing or corrupting the negative energy. It's to improve, to perfect, to harmonize the whole universe. We are one with the universe. Do you agree? Thank you everyone for being here watching this video. Consider subscribing the channel for weekly Dharma talks, for meditation sessions, 
for shooters and mentors. I'll see you next time. Bye.